In this video, I will talk about statistical experiment, event, simple event, and sample space. So a statistical experiment or statistical observation is a process that leads to the occurrence of one and only one of several possible results. A statistical experiment can be repeated infinitely many times. So what is a stats experiment? So let's say you roll a six-sided die, that is a statistical experiment. And then an event is a collection of one or more outcome of a statistical experiment or observation. So you roll a die, how many uh, outcomes do you expect to see? I expect to see one, two, three, four, five, and six, right? So this is a set of number. I do this experiment, I can repeat this infinitely many times, right? You can pick up a die and then roll it infinitely many times, as many times as you want. Every time you roll a die, you expect to get one of these six outcomes because they are six phases. And then event, so let's say I want to get an even number. So how many uh, outcomes do I have in this event? So I have a two, I have a four, I have a six, right? Let's say I want to get an odd number. How many outcomes do I have in this event? I have one, three, and five. So event is a collection. So I have a collection of numbers. So they say it's a collection of one or more outcome of a statistical experiment or observation. So it can be one outcome only. So let's say I want to get a six in specific. Uh, how many outcomes? Just one. You get a six. You want a six? You get a six, right? And then a simple event or an outcome is one particular outcome of a statistical experiment. So you look at the list. One, two, three, four, five, six. This uh experiment has six simple events one two three four five and six and then the set of all simple events constitute the sample space of an experiment so the notation we use this capital s that stands for sample space so sample space is basically everything all right you do an experiment everything you list all the possible outcomes so that is called a sample space or so sample space is everything uh, and then uh, an event you are looking for a specific outcome in the sample space let's uh, practice an, a problem so let's bring bring this problem up let's bring bring this up so uh, we are trying to practice sample space and event of a statistical experiment. Write the sample space of each of the following statistical experiments. State the outcomes in each event. Number one is flipping a fair coin. Disregard the event in this experiment. All right. So number one, you flip a fair coin, right? So the sample space is uh, you either get a head or you get a tail. So that would be number one. And then number two, you flip two coins, all right, F two coins. So here is how I count. Uh, I will get a two head, H, H, and then first head, second tail, first tail, second head, or I get two tails. How many How many outcomes do I have? I have four, all right? Uh, how do you know the total is four? So here is how you count two coins, right? The first coin, how many faces? Two. The second coin, how many faces? Two. Now, why don't you multiply them? Two times two is equals to four. So in your sample space, you must have four outcomes. And then event A is getting one head, all right? Getting one half, so that means head, tail, tail, head. So they are all one head. And then number three is you flip three fair coins. Let's switch color for that. So three fair coins. So number three, three fair coins. Then my sample space is, oh, before we start, how, what, what is the total number of outcomes in this sample space? The first coin, two faces. The second coin, two faces. The third coin, two faces. Multiply, two times two is four. Four times two is eight. I need to have six outcomes in my sample space. So the first one, you flip two coins, right? So that will be head, head, head. Here is the way I count. So I change one of the head to a tail. And then I move the T to the left, one step at a time, H, T, H, and then T, H, H. So I just finish all the one tail, and then I need to work with two tails, H, T, T, and then I move the H to the right, one step at a time, T, H, T, and then T, T, H, and then the, that completes all the two tail, and then the last one is all tail. So you just count, there are four outcomes in my sample space, and then what 
what kind of event do I want? I want two tails. So event B, I want two tails. So that would be this, this, and this, right? So HTT, uh, THT, and then TTH. And then number three is, oh, this is number three. And then number four is you flip a fair coin and roll a fair die. C be getting an even number. So switch color again. What are we trying to do? One coin, one die, right? So the coin has how many faces? Two. The die, six. So two times six, the total is 12. I expect to see 12 outcomes in my sample space. Here is how I count. I do all the head first. Head one, head two, head three, four, five, six. And then tail first, T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, T6. So we have 12 outcomes in this sample space. And then what are we looking for? We are looking for a uh, even number. So even number, we have this, this, these two, and these two. You call that event C. I will just use C and then curly bracket. H2, T2, H4, T4, and then H6, T6. Done. All right. So this multiplication has a name. This is called multiplication principle. Why is this so important? So let's say you want to flip uh, three coins, four coins, five coins, a thousand coins. How many outcomes are in the sample space? So if you flip a thousand coins, writing out the sample space is extremely difficult, right? Because there are so many outcomes. You don't even know how many. So writing it out will take you hours and hours. So if you do four coins, how many outcomes do you expect to see in your sample space? The first coin, two faces, second coin, two, third, and then fourth. So all you have to do is you multiply them. So you expect to see 16 outcomes. If you flip five coins, so that will be two times two times two times two times two. So that will be 32 outcomes. If you six coins, so that will be two multiply itself six times, then that will be two to the six. If you flip seven coins, then that will be two to the seven. If you flip a thousand coins, that will be two raised to a thousand. Right? So that is the number of outcomes you must have in your sample space. And then back to the last problem, number five, you roll two fair dice, let event A be getting a sum of six. So I have a picture for you, a yellow die and a red die. So two fair dice, let event A be getting a sum of six. So how many outcomes do you expect to see in the sample space? So this is a number five, the first face, the first face, the first die, six faces, the second die, six faces. So using multiplication principle, six times six is 36 outcomes in your sample space. So if you roll three dice, then that will be six times six times six. All right. So let's write the sample space. Here is how I write the sample space. So what is the smallest number can you get? Two, two, two dice. Smallest is one and one, right? So one, one and one, I would do one and one. This is not a 11. That means the first die is a one, the second die is a one. So it can be a two one, right? The first die is a, uh, oh, actually I, I prefer to do this, this one two. The first die is a one, the second die is a two. And then one three, one four, one five, one six. This is not 16. The first die is a one, the second die is a six. There is no one seven, right? Because it's from one to six. And then two one, two two, two three. The first die is two, the second die is four, two five, two six. So it can be three one. Four, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1. So we will get a 6 by 6 at the end of the day. So 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6. And then uh, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 4, 6. Uh, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, 5, 5, 6, 6, 2, 6, 3, Six four, six five, six six. How many? Six by six. So the total is thirty six. So the sample space you can write that. Use a curly bracket to include all of them. So there you go. Here is your sample space. Now here is a good question. What if I want to roll uh three dice? 
how many outcomes are in the sample space. So the total is 6 times 6 times 6. That is equals to 216, right? So that is equals to 216. If you want to roll four dice, so the total is the first die, each die has six faces, right? So the total is you have to multiply them. So 216 times another six, you get a 1296 outcomes in the sample space. But I never ask students to write those sample space out because that is too big. They need to spend a lot of time to, to write it. Okay, what uh, event am I looking for? I need to get a sum of six. Okay, how do you get a sum of six? Can you do a uh, zero plus six? No, there is no zero. So to get a six, uh, you can do one plus five, two plus four, three plus three, four plus two, and then five plus one, right? So that is how you get a sum of six. There is no other outcome will give you a sum of six. So this is uh, five out of 36 outcomes. So the probability to get a sum equals to six is you have I circle five outcomes. This is out of 36 outcomes. That's how simple it is. Let's try try one more. How about the probability to get a sum of um sum of a 10? How's that? Sum of 10. How do you get a 10? To get a 10, you need to 4 plus 6, 5 plus 5, 6 plus 4. So that is 3 outcome out of 36 outcomes. All right. How about a sum of uh, 3? So to get a sum of 3, you have 1 plus 2, 2 plus 1. So that is 2 out of 36 outcomes. What if you want to get a sum of 12? So there is only a 6 plus 6, right? So that is 1 out of 36 outcomes. So that's how the sim sample space, the event works in probability. So that will be the end of this video. In the next video, I will introduce complementary events. If you think my instruction is helpful, do three things for me. Like, subscribe, and share the video for me. I appreciate your help really much. I see you in the next video. Signing out.